Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to discuss more glute training. And this movement specifically is going to be the glute max cable kickback. This is a movement that we have just started to incorporate within our clients' training, and it's been very successful. We've learned this from N1 Education. If you haven't checked out their stuff, please do. Before we get into the exercise, let's get started with a little bit of anatomy. I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and turn around here to showcase to you guys where the insertion and the origin of the glute is going to reside. Now, you guys hear us talk about the shortened and lengthened position within a lot of our training, and that all that simply means is that in the shortened range, that insertion and origin are going to get as close together as possible, and then when we are targeting in the lengthened position, the insertion and the origin being as far away from one another as possible. And so when we're talking about the glute itself, and to make it as simple as possible, the origin of the glute is going to reside here, and then the insertion of the glute is going to reside on the side of the femur. And so when we look at the positioning of this specific exercise and how we're getting this set up, that's going to make a lot of sense to you guys. Because what we're trying to do here is we're going to start in hip flexion and we're going to slightly AD duct. We're going to have a slight external rotation at the femur. We're not going to externally rotate at the ankle, right? That would look different, but we're going to externally rotate at the femur to allow for those glute fibers to fully lengthen. And by the time that Sue is kicking through here, we're going to be emphasizing the shortened range of that glute. But by setting up properly from an anatomical perspective, what this is going to do is allow for us to get through a full range of motion with the glute max. Things that we wanna focus on as we get started with this movement is a cable attachment that is going to go under the foot. Reason being for this is that we're generating a lot of force down and if we are having like an ankle attachment specifically, what's going to happen is that the force generation is not going to be high enough and we're going to lose some of that force that we're creating. And so by having that there, what Sue is going to do from this position is that she is going to simply control the abdomen neutralize the, the pelvis as a whole and kick back. There's not going to be an outward intent within this coming out of the external rotation that we spoke to is going to allow for that look of, of out, but it's simply just going to be kicking down and back. You guys will see that Sue is standing on a bumper plate. This is not a necessity, but kind of a luxury and, and something that may be helpful for you as this allows for her to not have any chance of running her foot into the ground. Whereas if she's performing this directly from the ground, she's going to find herself in a position where she may scuff her heel and it's not going to feel too great on that calf. Some common mistakes we see within this movement when working with our clients is that the individual will not kick back far enough. They will simply just kick straight down and this is not getting the glute into the fully shortened position. The second common mistake that we see is going to be going into anterior pelvic tilt and kicking far too far back and the individual going through and not keeping their pelvis in a stable position is going to put their lower back in a compromised place as well as not going to target the glutes fully because you're getting a lot of quad activation by generating so much momentum out of the starting position. The third mistake that we commonly see is the client kicking outward. What we're wanting to do is simply kick back and this is going to put the pelvis in a poor position as well as not truly target the glute max. Thank you for watching. If you're wanting the best programming of your life for about a dollar a day, check out our app, Physique Development Training Club.